Different breed anyway, you know, these guys. They don't usually use that around New York too much when they talk. That, that expression, yeah. kick ass. Well, you know, it, it, that's you just. You know what I mean? That's a Dallas, maybe Texas. That's Even it. California, they use it, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. But, well, see, Texans and Californians are much more alike than mm -hmm. Texans. And New Yorkers aren't like anybody, you know. They're breeding But they're the here. I know. I've met a, a few oh, yeah. New Yorkers a here. A lot of them have moved down. Because Texas okay, is so beautiful. Okay, are we beautiful. rolling? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, want, you need white balance again? Uh, I got it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Ray Don, welcome to Dallas. I have to assume that maybe this is your first time, huh? Yes, it is. Good. Mm -hmm. And under very good circumstances because of your film, Choose Me, uh, you play, um, can I say, a flaky poet? <laughs> you know, yeah, I suppose you could say flaky. I, I tend to think Pearl's tragic, you know. Um, Flaky, it's flaky negative. I mean, that, that's not I was necessarily. Like, she's probably. I, I, I'd say she's like a. Yeah, she's flaky. I, I'll commit to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but she is tragic because she's tragic because she um, she lets things happen to her. I think she's the ultimate martyr victim. You know, she goes into things and and um, she goes in open-hearted, open-faced, and gets you know smacked down um, by literally by her husband, and then by just the circumstances. Um, Pearl, I think, doesn't think that much about what could happen. She goes in there on an emotion, on a feeling, without you know before thought. So that's where she's tragic, I think. You know. This uh, script, I'm so proud of this one aspect of the script. I mean, I like lots of it, but one aspect of it, I'm really proud that no place in the dialogue uh, or any place at all do we ever have to address the fact that you and your husband have an interracial marriage. <laughs> now, that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, that's, I don't well, know that it's a first. <laughs> I don't know that it's a first, but, but uh, uh, give me your feelings on that. Well, you know something? I must tell you that my father's white, okay, just on a personal level about that, and um, having a white father, I never thought about it, you know, because um, usually I think when a girl grows up, her first love is her father, you know. So I grew up through going through school being mostly attracted to white men, not saying I wasn't attracted to black men, but then I started to just address people without thinking of their color, you know. I got to learn about that very early. Um, so. I find out in my career, I don't know if it's because of who I am or what I, what my essence, my soul um, puts out, but I, after a few minutes, people forget w about the fact that I'm black, you know, or ethnic. Not that they, not that I want them to, but you know, it just becomes, you're addressing me. So I find in my career that I get cast in a lot of parts where um, I am with uh, a white man. And now, with per I don't think Alan thought about that because he just loved who I was as a, as a person outside of Pearl. Then he saw what I was doing with Pearl, and it was only natural that he wanted this character to be with Zach. And it never, I don't think it really, he came up with that. You know, it wasn't an, an issue. I just finished a film with John Badham, who did War Games, and my husband, or my boyfriend, who I lived with in this movie for years, is uh, looks like our cameraman. He's just blonde as blonde can be. And um, I'd say, I call him the fireman. He's my fireman boyfriend, because he looks like a fireman. And I'm his girlfriend, and there's not, um, it's not an issue. Now, this is a big studio picture, and um, this movie is going to get it into all the homes in America, hopefully. I mean, it's called American Flyer, and it's an American film. So I hope to see um, a crossover there as far as, like, let's drop the issue a little bit, because it is an issue, I'm sure. And I, and I know that it's a, it's a deep one that runs through America as far as the question of interracial, is it right, is it wrong? Because um, some people feel it's wrong and some people feel it doesn't matter. And I, I, I hope to be maybe the actress that could possibly make people forget that we're talking about a, a black woman speaking on film, but that this is a person, you know, that has, you know, feeling. Um, because it's, it's, it's a very sensitive issue and I think that it's, it's, it's sort of a tragic one because it's slightly, um, it's, antiquated, do you know what I mean? And I think that, um, first of all, being I'm half white, so why couldn't I, you know? My son, for instance, is blonde and white, and he came out of my body. So all I can say about all that stuff is that I'm living, you know, I'm, I'm a person who, who has a lot of everything in me, and there isn't a thought about the limitations, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or um, 
Oh God, it's a red zone. I, I just I just think that I'm going to always uh, be that way, and I think my whole career is going to be that way. I think I'm going to be always thrust into things, and and. Um, I don't think Alan even thought about it. I don't think it was an issue or something he said, okay, I want a black girl for this role. And, I, and I'm proud to say I think my whole career has been like that. People just don't stop at my skin color. They go, th they go deeper, you know. I've known your dad for some time. I've interviewed him a number of times and uh, have always had a great deal of fun when I've been around Cheech and Chong. Um, when you were uh, anticipating, wanting, dreaming about getting into the business, did your father say anything one way or the other? He said, why couldn't you be a nurse? <laughs> yeah, he, he, you know, Dad didn't know what to do about me because I was so precocious and ambition was, was my middle name. And um, he was, he had his fears, you know, but then he realized he couldn't project his fears on me. And he, he, was, he, was, he was very clever. He said, you, you, you're going to do it, then do it on your own. I'm not going to help you an inch. My, 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 uh, my reputation will get you through the door, but uh, as far as that goes, you got to carry the, the stick. So I said, fine, you know, just fine. So he, he supported me on some levels. On other levels, he, you know, he let me walk myself, and, and that was the best thing I could have done. And your mother, did she have feelings one way or the other? No, my mom, my mom just, I mean, I, I was real strong. I'm real strong as a person. And my parents just said, oops, there she goes. You know, there was no real question or, you know, uh, as far as school was concerned, I was, I was a good student. And, um, but I had just aspirations to do what I'm doing. It was sort of like, it was, it's been in me deeply to do what I do. Wait right on, I have to tell you that when I saw you in Quest for Fire, I said, keep an eye on that young lady because I thought you were just wonderful in that. And, uh, and I think you just do a dynamite job in Choose Me. So uh, we're still keeping our eye on you, but I think that uh, you're off and running. Well, let's hope so, you know. Let's just hope so. I, God, I feel lucky. I feel real good. You know, I try to keep the work good, and um, let's see. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, Radon, and uh, we'll look forward to talking with you again, maybe on American Flyer. Come back I think so. Okay. I think so. What does that do out? That's Easter. Oh, all right. And it's going to be all through the United States, and uh, I think okay. we're going. I think we're going to have a big movie. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who else is so wonderful? So it's a wonderful film. What a great guy. Did he direct as well, or no? John Badham, who did War oh, Games, said, uh, John directed Badham. this yeah. one. Uh, Steve Tessich. Oh, and Badham is such a good director. Oh yeah, yeah. he's. Just oh, what classic. a team, Batam and Tessa. Jones. And Warner Brothers produced it, Paula Weinstein and uh, Gareth Wiggins, who are very, very, my, it's like, I call it my A film. Yeah. I bet they'll do uh, a junket on that. I bet oh, definitely. Will. Yeah, because I'll be talking with you again. Questions now. Okay. And I'll be talking at about this level on the Ray Don Chong questions. I think her name is wonderful, Ray Don Chong. <laughs> Would you describe your character as a flaky poet? Did you and Alan Rudolph, the director, ever talk about the interracial marriage between this character and her husband? Do you think the interracial marriage in this is going to be an issue? Your father, Tommy Chong, what kind of advice did he give you about a career? What did your father say when you told him you wanted to be an actress? <laughs> okay, let's change now. And tell me when. Yeah. 
is this serious is serious comedy a marketing tool or did you actually come up with the slogan did you set out to write a quote serious comedy or is that a marketing slogan How in the world were you able to make this movie with three major stars for $800,000? Did you offer this movie to studios for distribution? Did you ever consider offering this Did you ever consider offering this movie to a studio, a major studio for distribution? Why is it that a film like yours would not be distributed through a major studio? What happened to Songwriter? Okay, now let's do the other questions. What sort of involve What sort of involvement does your company have with this movie Choose Me? How much of a risk do you think you have with this film? Sam, do you understand? <coughs> Excuse me. Sam, how do you explain uh, that people can get money to go out and drill one dry well after another, but they can't get moved? Sam, how do you explain that people can go and get money to drill one dry well after another, but they can't get enough money to make a movie? What do you see as the future of the film industry in Texas? Do you think it's possible that Texas will be the third coast? What do you think the film industry in Texas has to do to succeed? How important is it to the film industry that Texas remain a right-to-work state? Okay, let's see now. Um, let's see the future. Oh, I shut it down. 